Break last weekly. A show about past week's comings and goings in Path of Exile. Hello fellow exiles. Today we will cover more heist news and look at a recent community event that tickled everyone's creative bone. Starting off with a huge patch on Tuesday that was mentioned in the last week's roadmap. This patch brought many heist improvements like maximum length reduction in high level heists. No more escape sequences the length of Mission Impossible. Other great improvements are job door reductions as rogues petitioned that they were working too hard for what we were paying them. And job speed increase since it's already the third week of the league, rogues had plenty of time to optimize their performances. Also Grand Heist saw the reveal costs reduced and the chance to acquire unique contracts from smuggler caches was also increased. There were plenty of bug fixes in this patch but it doesn't seem that it solved all the problems as reports suggest that there are still plenty of crashes happening. On a side note, you can plant Tain Octavius next to your stash, as he can now be control clicked to bring up the vendor window. No more need for conversation, it's just business. On Thursday we saw a roadmap for the next week that has even more heist improvements, like rogues actually prioritizing the jobs we pay them to do. Furthermore, we will see many bug fixes to alternate quality gems, so they will be usable to their full potential. Another interesting tidbit mentioned this roadmap is stash tab folders and affinities. These are making great progress and the deployment timeline is looking up to 3 weeks. Fingers crossed it's sooner than later for all you hoarders out there, you know who you are. Sadly, no good news to PlayStation users as crashes are still plaguing the console and there are no definitive updates on the fixes. On Thursday's patch we saw a few tweaks and bug fixes. Notably for all the crafters out there, Grand Heist item rewards can now generate between 1 and 3 levels higher than area level. As well as several fixes to heist related challenges, now getting that kitty cat will be easier than ever. This week also saw Reddit be useful as there was a new vendor recipe shared there. This recipe involves an existing recipe but adds a new twist. So what is it? Basically you need an astrolabe amulet and a gem of each color. Now normally selling any amulet with a gem of each color will yield you an onyx amulet, but doing so with an astrolabe amulet yields you a dual influence onyx amulet. The influences can be changed out by switching the gems, so you can save on an awakener orb. Now crafting it into something useful is another story. Maybe if we had harvest crafting. In other news, we saw a conclusion to a community run hideout decorating event. Hideout decorating is one of the more creative things you can do in Path of Exile. This event was completely community funded and run and the results are spectacular. The winner is chosen by community vote too. This event's theme was Hidden Haven and all the hideouts were made microtransaction free, so you know time to do some master missions folks. This event is the second of its kind and the next one is just around the corner starting on October 17th. So if your feet are tired from running all those maps, maybe it's time to settle down and finally get your backyard sorted out. That was all for this week's events. This was Mar and this was Break Last Weekly.